Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're gonna do a detailed FAQ on the Xiaomi's Mi A3. So Mi A3 has been announced in India for a price of starting at 12999, which is a pretty good pricing uh, for the features it is being offered. So. So in this video we will do the, uh, the regular FAQ covering all the aspects of the device including support for camera 2 API, a fast charging and all the other steps uh, which you might have uh, on this device. So first step let's have a look at the sensors available on this device. So we have installed the sensors app. So there you go. And uh, you can see that uh, this device comes with all the basic sensor, proximity, magnetic sensor, uh, gyroscope, light and accelerometer. So all the basic sensors are included on the Mi A3. Now talking about uh, the next aspect, the display quality. So this is one of the debated aspects uh, uh, whether HD plus resolution display is really worthy at uh, 13K price segment. So uh, in our limited uh, uh, time of usage, we felt the display was pretty good actually. Uh, even though it's an HD plus resolution display, you can actually see that uh, full HD definitely is better at this price segment. So what uh, this has uh, is... Uh, uh, the display is an AMOLED panel that's a super AMOLED panel and uh, super AMOLED panels always have the advantage with better colors and better viewing angles you can see the viewing angles are excellent here uh, the color reproduction is also pretty good and even if you look closely you don't actually feel that uh, you're using an HD plus resolution display yes uh, the resolution is lower uh, but then overall the display quality definitely feels good so that's the display aspect of the uh, Xiaomi's Mi A3. Now there is Gorilla Glass 5 protection on the display and you also get the Gorilla Glass 5 protection on the back panel. This is made of glass. So you get uh, the Gorilla Glass on the back panel as well. Apart from that, uh, there is also Gorilla Glass protection for the camera unit. So uh, the entire device is protected probably by Gorilla Glass 5. Now one of the questions we have been getting uh, whether this device supports uh, full HD playback uh, uh, on YouTube on this device because it has HD plus resolution display. So to answer that question uh, this device does not play full HD videos it plays only HD uh, resolution. So if you go to YouTube you can uh, play only uh, HD plus resolution display uh, I mean videos and uh, not uh, full HD. So 720p videos are supported on this device. But having said that you can record videos in uh, uh, 1080p resolution and you can actually play uh, videos in 1080p resolution if you record it from the rear camera. Now next talking about the sim cards. So there is a dual sim card support on this device so uh, we have the sim card uh, slot on the left side so that's a dual uh, sim card. There is dual voltage support and uh, uh, there is SD card support also included but uh, remember this is a hybrid slot so it's not a dedicated slot so it's a hybrid slot included on the Mi A3. Now talking about uh, uh, the storage. So this device is offered in uh, uh, 64 gigabyte storage as well as 128 gigabyte storage which has a uh, 4 gigabyte ram and 6 gigabyte ram so there are two variants available uh, and uh, right now what we are tested is uh, the uh, the uh, 6 gigabyte ram with 128 gigabyte storage next step the fingerprint scanner so this device has an in display fingerprint scanner so we'll just uh, test out the in display fingerprint scanner performance so that's the in display fingerprint scanner performance so it may not be the fastest out there but it's quite accurate uh, overall uh, and this is probably the cheapest smartphone with uh, uh, the in display fingerprint scanner. So next let's talk about the face unlock so there you go so that's the face unlock again not the fastest out there but uh, it does a pretty good job in unlocking uh, it's more or less accurate. Now next software. So uh, this device runs on Android uh, 9.0 and this is under the Android 1 platform. So you get uh, the stock Android. So if you look at uh, the settings, so this is the stock Android. No additional features are offered. It's a uh, stock UI which uh, Google offers and uh, this will be getting uh, two years of uh, Android updates as well as security patches. So that's the important thing about the Mi A3. Now performance. So the phone uh, comes with uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 Octa-Core processor which is uh, probably mid-range chipset and uh, the Mi A2 had uh, uh, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 so this is an upgrade from 660 to 665 and here you can see that uh, the performance is pretty good uh, uh, the overall uh, multitasking experience is also pretty good the gaming performance we have done a detailed gaming video so you can check out that video to get an idea about how the performance is but overall we feel the gaming is quite good uh, for the 13k price segment probably uh, there are more powerful devices if you if you have uh, a bit more money to invest for gaming and also it's a slightly smaller display so gaming might not be the ideal thing uh, you can do with a Mi A3 but still it does uh, 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 play uh, even PUBG and uh, other games uh, without any sort of issues now battery 
So it has a 4000 mAh large capacity battery with 18 watt fast charging but the bundle charger is 10 volt uh, uh, that that means uh, 5 volt 2 ampere that's 10 volt charger and the 10 volt charger uh, is uh, does not support fast charging it, and it takes more than 2 hours to charge the Mi A3 so that is not recommended but if you have a fast charger like the Qualcomm's QC 3.0 charger or even the uh, Xiaomi's 27 watt charger that supports uh, uh, the Mi A3 so we'll be doing a different test uh, on the charging uh, and uh, uh, how the uh, fast charger uh, charges uh, the device that we'll do it later but as of now you can see that uh, it does support uh, 18 watt fast charging and the battery performance is also pretty good we'll also be doing a detailed video on how the battery performance is on the Mi A3 next uh, let's talk about the speaker performance so we'll just uh, play a track from uh, YouTube audio library So you can see that the audio output from the uh, speakers located at the bottom section looks pretty good. So next step let's talk about the LED notification. So we are going to connect this device to a charger and you can see that uh, this is the LED notification on the top uh, of the display. That's the LED notification included on the Mi A3. So you can see that when I remove it uh, you can uh, see that uh, the notification in action. So that's the LED notification on the uh, Mi 8. Now this device does support USB OTG out of the box. You can connect uh, your computer peripherals with this device. Now camera quality. So this device has a triple rear camera setup. So uh, we have a primary 48 megapixel Sony IMX uh, 586 sensor and a secondary 8 megapixel wide angle camera and a third uh, 2 megapixel depth sensor and a 32 megapixel selfie camera is included. So overall uh, we feel the cameras are pretty good. We have done a detailed camera review so you can also check out that video to get an idea about how the uh, camera performance is. Now next uh, is uh, whether this device has Widevine L1 support. So uh, uh, when we install all this app you can see that uh, there is widevine l1 support on this device so security level is l1 so that is supported on the mi a3 now next let's uh, talk about the camera 2 apa so uh, we have installed the camera 2 apa probe and you can see that uh, there is a uh, full support that's level 3 support on the uh, uh, mi a3 so we also installed the uh, the google uh, pixel camera uh, apk so you can see that uh, it does support a uh, pixel uh, camera the gcam is supported all the modes are supported portrait mode night mode all of them are supported so in case you want the link we'll share the uh, link in the description of this video you can download uh, that link uh, and uh, get the uh, the best version of uh, the gcam on the mi a3 now talking about the colors so there are three colors available one is the gray we have uh, more than white variant uh, more than white color that's the one we have there is also blue color variant so there are three colors available uh, on the for the mi a3 and probably our personal choice would be the white variant that's um, the one uh, which we like and uh, if you're looking to buy the mi a3 we would suggest you to buy the four uh, four gigabyte ram and 64 gigabyte storage because that makes sense because six and 128 uh, does not make sense for two reasons because uh, if, when you go to uh, six gigabyte ram and 128 gigabyte storage the pricing is almost 16k for that pricing we feel uh, there are better devices out there uh, like the realme x uh, if you you can buy it then realme 5 pro or even the redmi note 7 pro are much better choices when you uh, buy devices at that price but for 12 triple nine that's 4 gigabyte ram 64 gigabyte storage makes pretty much sense with all the features being off so that was a detailed faq on the mi a3 hope you enjoyed watching this video if you still have any questions to ask you can just drop a comment and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day